The first cause argument um, is sometimes today um, resurrected as something that is compatible with science because people sometimes say, haven't we learned through science that the universe began with a Big Bang? That it began around 13 billion years ago. Um, John, I think, said that it was created from nothing, or he quoted a scientist saying it was created from nothing. And how could that happen? How can you create something from nothing? Doesn't that suggest that there has to be a God? But I think scientists are guilty of sowing a great deal of confusion when they use the word universe in statements such as the universe began 13 billion years ago with the Big Bang. If you actually tackle a physicist who studies this issue and ask, what do you really mean by the universe in that statement? They will tell you, if they're honest, that what they're talking about is the observable universe or the known universe. The universe that we can observe with our telescopes and uh, all the devices we have seems to have begun from some kind of bang, if you like, development about 13 billion years ago and to have been expanding ever since. But if you ask the scientist, well, do we know that it began from nothing? They will answer, no, we don't know that at all. We can't observe anything beyond before the Big Bang. So any statements about what, hap what the situation was before the Big Bang are not scientific statements. They are statements perhaps of, of religious faith or belief. Um, so it may well be that the universe, for example, has been constantly oscillating, been constantly expanding and then collapsing and then expanding again, and it's been doing that forever, for infinite time. That's perfectly compatible with everything that science can tell us. So we don't need a God to explain the beginning of the universe. The universe may have always existed. And indeed, if we think that, as the first cause argument runs, everything has to have a first cause, then, of course, that argument applies to God as well. If we're allowed to say God needs no first cause, then we ought to be allowed to say the universe needs no first cause.